want to start in a few moments. And okay. China is not Africa, so I think let's skip that. Uh, right about now, I'm about to introduce you the president of the CMPI. The CMPI basically means the Center for Media and Peace Initiatives. He's a Nigerian-born immigrant. He created the Center for Media and Democratic Governance at Rutgers University in New Jersey. He's a journalist. He's a public administrator. He's a professor of the media and public administration. And he is the current president of the Center for Media and Peace Initiatives. Without much ado, I welcome you all. With a round of applause, Karin Jensen. Welcome our president of CMPI, Dr. Uchena Eko. Thank you very much. Distinguished uh, guest speaker, Professor Humphrey Watson, distinguished CMPI fellows, distinguished uh, CMPI board members here present, including uh, Francisco Bozana Benz, Dr. Olga, did I see her? and all that, and the students as well, and the president of the students, African Students Association here. Priscilla, is she here? <laughs> so, it's my pleasure to be here. And of course, uh, we have representatives of uh, the ambassador of Ivory Coast, and the ambassador of Nigeria. We just had a short ceremony here. Of course, most of the recipients are here. Dr. Geshewitz is here. Um, ambassador Sierra Don uh, Dion Conde is here. Of course, my friend uh, Lawrence Freeman is here from uh, African, the head of African desk of uh, Executive Intelligence uh, Magazine. Actually, why we are here is to listen to the lecture to be presented by Professor Han from Wosu. Well, it's not my job to really introduce him. Somebody else will do that. Dr. Kichabu is going to do that, and we will listen to hear from her who she is, and thereafter we will listen to his lecture. After that, we'll have a Q&A. Part of this agenda actually is to explain to the larger American community and of course the international community about a few trends going on perhaps in Africa. And of course you know that elections have made a problem in most societies, including the United States. Some of us are familiar with what happened in 2000, where Bush and Gore had to settle in court. It's not just in Nigeria, it's not just in all African countries, it also happens 
also in the United States and other parts of the world. So we hope to learn from Professor Mosu some panacea to deal with some of these issues, especially in most emerging countries. And I also believe that students who are here will start to learn critical issues about democratic governance as it occurs both intellectually and of course practically as well on the field. So he'll be sharing some of the experiences, some of these experiences with all of us here. So I'd like to invite Dr. Mkichi Agu, who is a professor of mathematics here in the college to introduce Professor Mosu, who will come up to here, this podium to talk to us. Thank you very much. Uh, on electoral reforms and appropriate uh, political order in Africa. Um, um, but before I introduce our eminent scholar to you, um, on behalf of the African Students Association, for which I'm the advisor, on behalf of my college, Borough of Manhattan Community College, on behalf of the larger CUNY system that we belong to, City University of New York, I would like to welcome you all here today and to thank you for coming, because without an audience and without particip participants, you can't have an event. So thank you all for being here today. The timing of this lecture is very appropriate, as Dr. Uchenna has told us from CMPI, with lots of African uh, countries uh, going into electing uh, uh, their next uh, presidents and so on and so forth. And our scholar today has had lots of experience uh, in that area and uh, it is an honor to bring him here to share with us his expertise, his research, his scholarship in that area. I would like to introduce to us today uh, Professor Humphrey Wafo Wosu, who is going to be speaking to us uh, today on electoral reforms and appropriate uh, political order in Africa. Uh, he is not just a scholar, he is also a community person in the sense that he is a traditional uh, ruler, the Eze, the fifth Eze of Ajali community in Anambra State, uh, Nigeria. Uh, Dr. Wosu was born many years ago in the good month of October that he is speaking to us. Um, he had his primary education in, uh, way back in 1948 in his home community at St. Michael's School. And for those of you who are students, he's a success story in the sense that coming from a low-income uh, family, his family was not able to uh, send him to secondary school, but he was able to accomplish that uh, through the missionary, and he did get a secondary and vocational education in spite of the fact that um, his family was not able to pay for that education for him to get it. He got it in his home community, Ajali. So please take a leaf of him that you can do anything if you have the right attitude, you have the mindset, and you have the perseverance. Uh, I am happy to say that we went to the same uh, university. <laughs> uh, he's an alumni of the University of Nigeria in Suka both for his bachelor's, master's, and doctorate um, from 1966 uh, to through, did I get it wrong? Yes. <laughs> okay. Bachelor's degree. Bachelor's 
University of Nigeria. Yes. MFDA, University of California. Okay, University. I, I guess I missed that from the resume. Excuse me. Uh, so he's bachelor's from University of Nigeria and the master's and doctorate from University of California. Uh, California, both of them, all three in political science. Uh, upon finishing his education, he had a small stint as the public relations officer in Shell uh, from 1966 to 1970. And after that, he went to, back to academia, uh, to the University of Nigeria in Suka where he did his undergraduate, and he rose through the ranks from assistant lecturer to full professor by 1986. Uh, from 1986 uh, to 80 on, he, were, he went into public service to serve his country, Nigeria. From 86 to 88, he was commissioner for local government, chieftain Simadas, and commissioner for agriculture. And from and in 1989, he was the the chamber of technical committee for applications of civil service reform to local government. He was commissioner there, chairman there. And one of the high peaks of his public service was began in 1989. Uh, from 1989 to 1993. Uh, he was appointed as chairman of the National Electoral Commission, and he paved the way uh, to the democratic elections in 1993 uh, for Nigeria to choose a presidency. Uh, unfortunately, that elections was annulled uh, June 12, 1993, but it was a successful election, and hopefully he will share some of that with us in his talk. Um, he left um, public service in 1993 and went back to academia, University of Nigeria in Suka, uh, where he stayed on there till 1999 uh, and retired. He has been spending his retirement years in a number of critical ways. One, uh, serving the community helping those who are underprivileged, providing improved communi communal service. Secondly, sharing his scholarship, his expertise, his teaching, his research through publications. And one of his publications is on that table there, laying the foundation for Nigeria's democracy, which is also based on his experience um, in moving the country towards its current uh, uh, infant democracy with the June 12, 1993 uh, presidency election. Uh, the third way he has been serving his country as an elder uh, is also through providing his elder expertise and specialist advice to the federal government of Nigeria and also to the community, both in Nigeria and worldwide, he's here today to share with us as an elder statesman his uh, knowledge and his expertise. And so I would like to us to welcome a speaker for today, uh, Professor Humphrey Wosu. Um, we welcome you, and we are looking forward to what you have to share with us today um, on political reforms and appropriate political order in Africa. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. 